All right, guys, let's begin. So what we have right now is some objectives that we're going to look at today. So if you remember from last time, we incorporate facts and details from solving problems into our narrative personal letter example. So today, I'm going to model how you can use these facts and details along with the genre of personal letters. So the type of rhyme we're doing is called personal letters to help you plan your letter. So right here, we have our objectives. We're going to develop ideas for the personal letter, we're going to understand the importance of point of view, and then we're going to share our ideas in our writing. So we're gonna head down to this anchor chart right here. And we've already looked at these features of a personal letter. They're the stuff that's like your address, your greeting, the bio paragraph. Last time we did the facts and details and making them connect to our own experiences. So now we're going to look at the point of view. So the point of view of the narrator is yourself and you're gonna be talking like you're writing it. We need to identify the audience, so who it is we're going to be writing it to. And then we need to plan our sequence of events. So we're going to say this happened first, this happened next, and then finally this happened. Now, what I want you to do is look back at our prompt all the way at the beginning. You're a citizen of Washington State. Write a letter to someone close to you about your experiences during the shellfish crisis described in solving problems. So what we're going to do here is this. It says, the prompt is asking me to imagine I'm a citizen of Washington State. I don't live there, but I'm imagining it. And to describe my experiences during this shellfish crisis. So I need to decide what point of view I'll write from. In other words, who am I? It makes sense for me to be someone who is affected by this crisis, someone that this crisis matters to. Am I a scientist? Am I a fisherman? I know. It's going to sound strange, but I'm going to be the daughter of parents who work for the shellfish industry. That's how I'll write my planning chart. So now I need to think about the person to whom I'm writing it to. Who's going to read this? The prompt tells me I'm writing to someone close to me. So I'll write to a friend. I know I want to tell about the crisis, so it makes sense for my friend to live somewhere else. I'll write to my friend Carrie, who has moved away from the state. That way I'll be telling Carrie things about things she hasn't distributed, so that she hasn't experienced. So let's head to this planning chart and let's take a look at it right here. So our first part is this, who am I? So if I remember from my text, I am Beth. And what do we know about Beth? Well, we know about Beth. Oh, that's a poor choice of color. Let me change that for us. What we know about Beth is this, from the letter that we worked on. It's a girl, so remember, it's a girl living in Washington State whose parents are in the shellfish industry. And I go back and check and I see, oh, I need to have that space there. So that's who I am. So now let's head to our next part. Our next part is what? So our next part is who is my audience? Who am I writing to? I am writing to a friend. I remember this friend, we had a name for her at the beginning. It's that part right there, Dear Carrie. So a friend, oops, do I have to make sure I spell that correctly? Called Carrie, who moved away last year. So that's my audience, who I'm writing to. Your audience can change depending on the purpose. Like if I wanted to write to the governor, I may change the language in this so it sounds more professional, it sounds more important. But this is my friend, I'm just talking to her. And so now my next part for my planning is this shellfish crisis. What happened to me? Well, the shellfish crisis happened to me. Again, let me change that color. The shellfish crisis occurred and why did it occur? Well, it occurred because of pollution. And I put that capital P there because this is my notes and I know it's something important, so it's gonna stand out to me. And where did this pollution occur? Well, it was in Pugent Sound. And why is this pollution bad? Well, it's because it's hurting the shellfish 
industry. So it's for in that shellfish economy. Economy, industry, how we make money. And so this last part of my planning chart is how did this experience affect me? So if I remember from looking back in my text and then reading my mentor text, we have this part that it's affecting my family. Let me change once again that font color. And I don't want to just leave it at it was affecting my family. I need to say how. So it's that they were both in the shellfish industry. They both work in the shellfish industry. Both of their jobs were about this shellfish, whether it was shrimps, crabs, lobsters. That pollution has taken away the shellfish, so then they can't read. And so how did it affect me? Well, my parents were affected. And then not only that, but if you remember in here, I say I'm going to start doing something to help. So that's taking the initiative. So what I'm going to put here is I read about an initiative to help the shellfish industry. So remember that article that I mentioned, and we'll look at it in a moment right here after I do my spell check. We have this article that we read that solving problems that talks about the governor, Christine Gregoire. And so that's something else that affected me. I wanted to know and so more about this, and so I went to read it. So that's my chart that we're going to use next week when we write our own letters. So what I want you guys to do is think about, there's no writing today, but I want you to think about those four things for writing a letter. Who am I? If you're going to write your own shellfish letter, who would you have been? Who would your audience be? Would you be writing to a friend also, or would you be writing to your mom or dad? And then what happened to you? Is it going to be the same thing? Or would you maybe take it a step further and say, you're affected because your parents are cooks? Or maybe you're an adult in this, and now you are a cook. How would this affect you? What happened to you? So this is it for your writing today. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some writing of our own, though.